away from the sits bones. Start to press down in the hips, lifting out with the ribs. Lift up, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Reach the crown of the head up and find your breath. Bringing your attention to the center of your navel. Let's breathe the belly big for a few breaths. Expanding as much as you can. As you exhale, draw the navel up and in. Squeeze all the breath out of the bottom of the lungs. And continue on your own, ballooning the belly up, squeezing the belly tight. your attention to your rib cage. See if you can expand the body equally in all directions. Allowing the breath to come even deeper, carrying it all the way into the top of the chest. Feeling the belly move through the three parts, belly, ribs, and chest, chest, ribs, and belly. Smooth inhales, smooth exhales. Inhaling two, three, four. Exhaling two, three, four, five, six. Thinking about lengthening those exhales. The emptier you can get the lungs, the more room you make for fresh oxygen. some movement to that breath. Inhaling, reaching both arms up. Exhale, let them come down. Move with your breath. A few breaths. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling the arms down. the gaze to follow the hands. Next time you find both arms up, reach the fingers up, roll the shoulders down the back, gaze is straight ahead, chin slightly tucked. Inhale, reaching the fingers up, exhaling over to one side, maybe even taking that hand down, really reaching for the side of the room, gazing up at the sky. 
flowing with breath, inhaling up, exhaling to the other side. Move with your breath or hold for breath. Make this your yoga. I'm gonna move with every breath, but if your body feels like you wanna hold that side open and take a breath in and a breath out, honor your body. This is all about learning what kind of stretches we need to counteract our daily life. I like to move. Maybe you like to hold. No body is the same. When we move laterally, we increase vitality. The next time you find yourself over to one side, reach the arm down toward the ground and forward and out. Let's find a little circle here. And again. Choosing if you want to move fast or slow, but attempting to match breath and movement. So if you're moving faster, you're breathing a little quicker. When you feel balanced, coming to the center, rolling the shoulders up, back and down. Placing the hands on the legs. And again, if your comfortable seat is legs out, I hope you're still there. You could have been doing all of this like that. In the chest. Sweeping the chin from shoulder to shoulder, little half circle. Sitting up tall in your seat. Inhale, lifting the gaze. Exhale, one ear down. Inhaling through center. Exhaling to the other side. Continuing on your own. For more intensity in your stretch, reach your fingers far away from your body. Finding that perfect stretch. When you feel balanced, coming to center, sweeping that chin over your shoulder, gaze behind you. Inhale to center, exhale, other side. And continue. Noticing if you get any more rotation as you repeat the movement. And kicking yourself back into a hammock. Step the feet out wider than mat width apart. Then let the knees drop from side to side. And the windshield wipe. I like to really roll my hips into the ground, get a little massage. Dropping both knees over to one side. Whew. Lifting up the opposite arm. So your knees are pointed one way, that hand stays down. And start to swing the arm. And imagine you've got a little toy airplane. Zooming it around your body. Whee! Inhale, opening that arm up. Gaze at the thumb. 
And as you exhale, take the arm across the body, walk the fingers into a little twisty twist here. Inhale, up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, reach it down. Maybe walking down onto the forearms, you might even be able to lay down on your belly. Ooh, that's not in the cards today. Little gear twist. Slowly walking the hands back in, lifting the knees up, going all the way to the other side, and then we'll find our little toy airplane again. Zoom, zoom, whee. Maybe you like a train better. You want to play it on the ground. Maybe you like a rainbow better. Find what your shoulder wants to just open up this whole shoulder blade. Plus you get a little lower back adjustment. Inhale, opening up, gaze at that thumb, reach as far behind you as you can. And as you exhale, bring that hand across the body, all the way to the floor. Let's walk ourselves into a twist. Inhaling the spine long, reaching the crown of the head to the sky. Exhale, lowering down any amount. So that could just be walking the hands a little forward. It could be coming down onto one forearm or both forearms. Maybe, like I said, you can lay your whole belly on the ground. Walking the hands in, lifting the legs up, bring the soles of the feet together. Find your bound angle. Rolling the shoulders, sitting up tall. How are you breathing? Smooth and steady. Yoga is really all about breath. Calming the mind, moving with synchronicity. If that's even a word, I'll have to look it up. I'm in the library. With every inhale, start to draw your chest forward. Using your arms for strength, pull your heart forward. When you can't move forward anymore, tuck the chin, round the shoulders down. If that feels safe on the neck, press the arms into the thighs. Draw the navel into the chest, press into the buttocks, and slowly roll all the way up, chin for the last to lift. Extend one leg out. So this is a big side sort of thing. So the leg's not straight out in front of you, it's way out to the side. Arms open up into a T. Let's reach it from side to side, like someone's playing tug of war with your arms. Reaching for that foot. Reach the other arm up and over. Gaze at the sky. Breathe into the open side of the body. Really, really reaching. Inhaling up. Exhale all the way over to the other side. Point the extended toe. Maybe you can press into the hand and lift all the way up. Wherever you are, just finding some length. Lowering if you lifted, switching the legs. Finding that open out to the side, tug of war arms. Reaching for that extended leg. Other arm comes up and over, gaze at the sky. Inhaling to center, exhale all the way to the other side. You could get down onto that forearm and just find some length here, or maybe press into the hand and lift up. Lowering if you lifted, send the legs straight out in front of you. Peel the flesh from the six bones so you can really grind the hips into the ground. Reach the arms straight up, toes are curled toward you. 
Inhale, line to goal posts. Exhale, close it down. See if you can bring the elbows to touch. Inhale, open. Exhale, fingers down, elbows up. Inhale in here. Reach the fingers up. Close the inhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, fingers down, elbows up. This one kind of works. Just a little. Inhale up. Exhale, close. One more time. Keeping the hands together, bring them to heart center. Reach the fingers forward and allow yourself to melt over the legs. Hands falling wherever they move. Slowly rolling yourself to seated. Point and flex with the feet for just a second. And then you're gonna roll yourself over into tabletop. That means adjusting the clothes, doing whatever you gotta do. Lining the wrists up right under the shoulders, the knees work right under the hips. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, lift the chin, fold the heart forward. Exhale, curling the spine from the tailbone to the head. And move with your breath. Cat, cat. Find yourself in cow pose. Come to neutral. Extend the right leg behind you. Whew, find that length. Point the toe. Flex through the foot. Draw the knee up and step the foot in front of you. Take as many steps as you need. I couldn't do that in one smooth movement when I started doing yoga. Coming into this lunge pose, let's find our runner's lunge. Pull it back, draw the toes toward you, walk it forward, back and forth a few times. So I'm feeling a lot right here, and you want to keep moving until you're not feeling a lot. You know what I mean? So that it feels a little bit more mobile. That can be fast or slow movements. I think of it as like oiling the leg, just kind of getting it moving, greasing it up. When you feel ready, switching to the other side, taking a second to compare the two sides in the middle, reaching that left leg behind you, toes pointed down, toes pointed back, toes pointed down, toes pointed back. Drawing the knee in and stepping the foot up. And then again, finding your movement here. Make the leg feel like it's more mobile. Get the morning creaks out. more comfortable. Give yourself what you need. Tricky bit. Walk your hands to the center and find a side squat. This is very tricky. Take your time. Your side squat might not look like this. Your side squat might be way up here. You might need to be on blocks. You might think I'm totally insane. You want to come into this from standing and just give it a little pulsing. Finding the side squat that's right for your body. 
Ooh, I can't even find it. Oh. Ooh. So this one's a little bit uncomfortable. It's because we never do it. We don't do this with our legs and they're meant to do it. They can. <laughs> we just neglect this bit a bit. And that's why today we're focusing on lateral movement. Ooh. Walking your hands to the center, finding a wide-legged forward fold for a second. Send the crown of the head down. Again, if you're on blocks, you're here. If you don't want to do any of that, you can just have your hands on your thighs, kind of curl your body down. Woo. One more breath and then take it to the other side. Take your time finding spot that's right for you. And hold for about three breaths. If you need all three breaths to find the right spot, take them. Do it. Just look for it. You might be able to pull your toes up. Ow, no. Point the toes, no. Ow. <laughs> Find what your body can do. As long as you're lengthening and breathing. If you're not finding a full breath, come out of the posture and don't do it at all. Come into the standing version. Now let's flow from side to side, wherever you are. So again, if you're not here on the ground, you can have blocks like your hands, or you can just be up, hands on the thighs, side to side. Dropping down all the way to one side, doesn't matter which. Turn the body to face the short side of the mat. Coming into that runner's lunge again. Bringing both hands to the inside of the foot. Turn the body toward the long side of the mat. All the way to the other side. And then turn the body forward once more. Let's do that two more times. Side squat. All the way to the other side. Runner's lunge. Breath here. Side squat, all the way to the other side. Runner's lunge. Breath here. Coming back into that side squat, coming to the middle, sink the head down. So if you're just standing in your living room looking at me, thinking I didn't do any of that, you wanna do it from standing. Come into a little bit less of a wide-legged squat. You're just gonna turn one toe forward, runner's lunge. Turn, turn, yeah? So we're just turning the toes from the long side to the short side, bending the knee. Turning, bending the knee. Turning, bending the knee. Always the same knee. Ooh, see, you're still getting the stretch even from standing. And if you're in your nice, deep, wide-legged forward fold, reach your arms out to the side, draw your navel in, and roll all the way up to standing. Heel, toe, the feet in. Coming into mountain pose. Take a breath. Compare the two sides of your legs. Maybe shake them out. A little shaking. I have to adjust my clothes again every time. Every time I find myself in a new place. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Find your breath. So your legs are nice and toasty, warmed up for our flow. Come to one side of your mat. Doesn't matter which side. We're gonna do the other side. Reaching the fingers down, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Crown of the head is up. Pressing into the feet. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Fingertips reaching for the sky. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, step it out. Five pointed star. Big star. Reaching out through the fingers, pressing down through the feet, lifting up. Imagine you've got a light. Turn your starlight on. Shining. 
Turn the toes to the corners of the room, bend the knees, gotta squat. Reaching to one side and then the other. One more time. Reaching back into five-pointed star, turn your right toes toward the wall. Finding your heel intersected with the wide part of the foot. You're gonna reach the forward fingers forward, the back hip back. Reaching, reaching, reaching to the right side, finding our triangle pose. Allow the arms to windmill. Top arm is reaching for the sky, bottom arm is for stabilizing. You can take it all the way to the ground, most people cannot. So you might wanna just be here. Core strength, head is reaching that way. Draw the navel in for that core strength. Closing the arms like a book. Find that runner's lunge. This is why we do the side squats, take it to the center. One more breath, come into the center. We're gonna find that low yogi squat here. All the way to the other side, side squat. We never do it, you have to do it. Woo, turn it to the front. Another little tricky bit. So we're gonna plant that back foot and if that means you need to bring it in a bit, go ahead and find your footing. Take both hands to the inside of the forward foot. Lifting the hand furthest from the foot up to the sky. And then the tricky bit, straighten the leg with the foot. Triangle pose. <laughs> Looking up at the top, center, or bottom, whatever feels right for your neck. Reach the body long. Imagine there's a rope in the sky that you can grab a hold of and pull your body up. Five point star. Gotta squat, reach from side to side. You remember what side of the mat you started on? Bounce to the other side. Whee! Reach it up and side bends again. Finding the center, relax, shake it out, feel the body. Take your socks off because they hurt. <laughs> if you were dumb enough to be wearing socks. <laughs> They're yoga socks. They don't work. Ooh, ooh, that's painful. Goodness. Finding your mountain pose. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Maybe you can bring them into temple pose. But if it brings your shoulders up really close to your ears, keep them open so you can roll those shoulders down. Reaching over one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, five point and start. Find your goddess. Side to side. Sinking the hips down. Reaching it to the side. One more, sinking the hips down. Reaching it to the side. Wouldn't be exercise if it was easy. Reaching back into five point star, turning to your left now. And I know that I'm doing all this to my left. You go to your left. So we're opposites. Reaching, reaching, reaching forward first. So you're really pushing that hip behind you, finding some length in that forward leg and then windmill the arms. Top arm is reaching up, core is in. Most people cannot touch the ground. You need a block for stability or a book, go for it. Closing the arms like a book. Take the hands all the way down, come into that runner's lunge, let that back leg heal up. Woo. Both hands come to the inside. Drop it down, side squat. I know you hate me, that's why we're here. Woo! And again, if this is absolutely impossible for you, this is a side squat. Take it to the center. 
as low as you can go. Again, that could be here. Woo! All the way to the other side. Playing with your side squat. You never know, you might find something that you like. Your body might be saying, oh, we haven't done this in years. Let's, let's do this some more. Turn the body forward. Runner's lunge. Grounding that back foot down, finding your footing for triangle pose. Both hands come to the inside, lifting the hand furthest away. And then we're gonna straighten that leg, lift up the, ah, triangle pose from the ground, it's amazing. And then pressing that hip back, pressing the head forward. Imagining that rope in the sky, you can pull on it. Finding your five point star, finding your goddess squat, side to side. Sinking it down and then springing back up to the top of the mat, reaching up and then to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the arms. Relax the legs, shake it out. Feel what you need to feel. Reach for water if you need some water. Did you break a sweat yet? I certainly did. Woo! I like to squeeze my toes because I'm really pressing into them. Finding your mountain pose once more. Finding your breath. Stepping out wide into five-pointed star. Reaching the fingers out. Folding at the hips. Pause in the center. Reaching the crown of the head forward. Find some softness in the knees. We don't want to lock those knees. Use an exhale to let the arms come down, sink the head down. Find your wide-legged forward fold. Again, if you're up here, that's fine. You might have blocks that you can come down on. Loading the legs from side to side, little pulses. Letting that movement go. Inhale, lifting up one arm at a time. Finding some twists here. Go with your pace, your breath. Could be very slow, could be quick. You might even like to reach for a foot. Or an ankle. Pausing at one side, take a deep breath. Pausing on the other side for a deep breath. Coming back to the center, soft knees, strong belly, roll the spine to standing, chin's the last to lift. Shoulders rolling as you walk the feet to center. Ooh, shake the legs out. Yeehaw. Okay, we know it was coming. We were doing the, all the prep work. Feet are a little wider than hips width apart. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms come together. Exhale, draw it down, sink it down. Yogi squats. Ooh. Walk the feet to the right place. Really, really deep squat here. So my heels are down, but I do this a lot. So your heels might be up, and that's totally fine. You're just working on opening the hips. If you practice crow pose or any kind of arm balances, now's a good time to try that. If you want to play with that on your mat, 
That's not what we're here to do. We're not doing that today. When you're ready, taking one hand in front of you, one hand behind you, just you place the bum down. Reach the legs out long in front of you. Point and flex the feet. Windshield wiper. Really shaking out the legs. Peel the flesh away from the sit bones. Reach the heels out long. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach up, 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 and forward. Up, 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 and forward. Up, 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 and forward. And you can't move forward anymore. Gently tuck the chin. Roll the hands down wherever they land. Feet, legs, floor. Finding some breath here. Gently rolling to seated. Draw your right knee into your chest. Give a big hug. Open the leg out to the side. This time the leg is directly in front of us. So early in our warm up, the leg was way out to the side. Now it's straight ahead. Six bones are still planted evenly. Inhale, reach the arms forward, palms up. Exhale, reach it forward, forward, forward. Inhale, you back out a little. Exhale, you reach forward some more. And when you can't move forward anymore, tuck the chin, let the hands come down wherever they fall. Three to five breaths here. Maybe pulling the leg even more by grabbing a hold of the foot. If this is really easy for you, you might even be able to put a book or a block behind your foot. Really get some deep stretch. You might even just be grabbing at the calf and the ankle to pull your body down. But not down, forward. Forward, not down. Okay, so your left leg is forward. Let's take the left arm to the left leg. Right arm reaches around and behind you. Follow with the gaze. Little twist here. Really reaching that right arm behind you. If you can grab a hold of the foot with the left hand, go for it. One more breath. Really reaching behind you. Exhale, closing your arms like a book. Take it all the way to the other side, crossing that right arm to the opposite side of the leg and reaching behind you. This one's, this one's a little tricky. Gaze is behind you like that. Back thumb. Every exhale gives you a little more twist. Exhale, closing the arms, letting the arms cross over the ankle, folding the body forward. Toes are peeled back towards your face. Gently rolling the body up. Just like we did in the warm-ups, let's find that extended body. So taking the right hand behind you, grounded hip, grounded, lift it up. Woo! Extending that top side body, really feel a breath in the ribs here. Exhale, coming down. 
extending both legs. Point and flex. Drawing that right knee in once more. This time we're gonna step it over the extended left leg. Sweep your body toward your bent leg. Give it a big hug. Left arm stays hugging the leg. Right arm reaches behind you. Allowing the hand to come down as a little kickstand. Finding your twist. Inhaling the arm floats up. Exhale, taking it all the way to the other side. Both hands come down. See if you can lift up. Lowering down, extending both legs. See if one leg is much longer than the other. I always feel like one leg is way long right now. But it just means we gotta do the other side. So this time drawing the left knee in. Let's give it a big hug, big breath here. Allowing that leg to come out to the side. Remember this time the leg is straight ahead, not out to the side. Sitting up tall in the spine, reaching the arms forward, palms up. Exhale, reach it forward. Take a few breaths to work yourself into this fold. And when you can't move forward anymore, simply allow the hands to come down wherever they fall. If you can grab the foot or the leg, see about using that to pull your body forward some more. Both hands come to the inside, and then the same arm stays down, reaching that left arm behind you. Take a few breaths in your twisted pose, gazing at that back thumb. Exhale, closing the arms, take it all the way to the other side. Lifting that right arm behind you. This one is the trickier one, so take your time breathing into the pose. Exhale, folding down, let the arms cross over the leg. Sink in. See if you got any more forward movement. Gently rolling yourself up, extending that leg, bounce them up and down. Bending the same knee one more time, step it over the extended leg, sweep your body toward your bent knee, give it a big hug. Right arm stays anchored to the leg, inhale, lift that left arm behind you. Exhale, sweep it all the way over. Let's take both hands down, see if you can lift up. Woo. Taking that hip down, because we forgot to do the other side, and swinging your body up to the other side. That was fun, right? Whee, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, take it down. And then slowly, so slowly you're gonna hate me. Let's find our boat pose. So grabbing a hold of the backs of the knees, see if you can balance on your sits bones. You might need to tap a toe. You might be able to extend the toes parallel with the ground. You might be able to let go of the legs. Maybe you can even straighten the legs. Wherever you are, slowly, using your core, start to lower yourself to the ground. Pausing to hover, just above the ground. See the shaking. That's what we're doing. We're shaking. Great little Abby workout.
out just this little one. Ooh, taking your time. You shouldn't be at the floor yet. If you are, do it again. And relaxing. Walking the feet in close to the hips. And start to rock the pelvis. Giving yourself a little back massage on the mat. Maybe even rocking side to side. Walking the hands in close to the body, pressing into the feet, pressing into the hands. Inhale, lift the hips up, bridge pose. Exhale, lower down. Moving back and forth until you feel ready to hold. If you're feeling up to it, pressing the hips as high as you can, maybe walking the arms in under the body. Maybe you can interlace the fingers. Not a goal, just a maybe. Drawing the knees in so that they're pointed at the sky and not splayed out to the side. Maybe you can lift up one foot. If you lifted, switch to the other side. And then slowly lower all the way back down. Drawing the knees into the chest, lifting the nose up, give yourself a big squeeze, maybe rocking gently from side to side. Shoulders and head relax back to the mat. Grabbing one leg, preferably the right. I'm gonna do my left so that you can see the posture right. Extending the other leg. Lift that leg to the sky, and then lower it all the way down. Grabbing the knee with the opposite hand. Draw that knee across the body. Use the left arm for leverage. No, you're right arm. Woo! Coming into this deep version of the twist. See if you can place your shoulder on the mat. Not a goal, just a thought. Gaze away from the bent knee. So the knee doesn't have to touch. And the shoulder doesn't have to touch, but that's what we're thinking about. We're thinking about lowering so that we can get this nice deep twist. Breath is rhythmic. If this feels awful, bend the lower leg to support. Inhaling both knees to the center. Give yourself a nice little squeeze. Relaxing the head and shoulders. Grabbing a hold of the opposite leg. Extend the leg to the mat. Lift the toes up to the sky. Extend the leg to the mat. Grabbing the knee with the opposite hand. Relaxing that other arm out. Maybe even using it for leverage as you draw the knee across the body. Twist. Ooh, maybe you felt that back click. Only if it feels nice. If it feels awful, bend both knees and support that top leg. Just thinking about deepening that twist by taking the gaze away from the knee and allowing the shoulder and knee to float closer and closer to the ground. Inhaling, both knees come back to the center. Give yourself a little squeeze. Relax the head and shoulders. And then keeping a hold of the backs of the knees, draw the knees in toward the armpits. Send the heels of the feet to the sky. Maybe you can grab a hold of the ankles and draw the knees in closer. You might even be able to grab a hold of the outsides of the feet. Coming into happy baby pose. In the play with your happy baby, you might want to straighten one leg at a time or even both legs. You might want to rock from side to side. You might want to squeeze your feet in close. 
play with your legs here. We've done a lot to the legs. You might even just find the time for a little back massage. Releasing your hold on your legs. Send the heels to the sky. Send the palms to the sky. And slowly, slowly, slowly lowering the legs, lowering the arms, coming into your corpse pose, but we're not going to stay there, we're not done just yet. Drawing the right knee up, coming into supine tree, let's let that hip relax open. Deep breath. Bending the leg, switching sides, draw the left foot up the leg, coming into supine tree. Your tree has fallen down, but it is still alive. Relaxing that hip open. together on the mat. Relaxing the hips open, maybe rocking from side to side. Palms rolled up to relax the shoulders into the mat. Crown of the head is extended behind you so that the neck is long. Bending the feet once more. Allow the feet to splay open. Allow the body to relax. And take a moment to scan your body. Thinking about the feet and the ankles, the knees and the hips. Everywhere you find tension, send your breath. And with every exhale, feel that tension releasing, melting away. Let it go. Noticing if your body requires any final movements. Anything that you need to complete your practice before we move into Shavasana. And if you're already ready, simply begin to let go of your breath. Let go of your thoughts. Allow yourself to be heavy. Releasing the tension from the face. Let go of all expression. Let the jaw separate. Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Feeling the shoulders heavy into the mat. Feeling yourself letting go, heavy and soft. And staying here for as long as you need, maybe even turning your Shavasana into a proper nap. I'd like to close our practice with the sound of Om. Feel free to join me if you'd like. Inhaling to begin. Ah, oh. May you be happy. 
may you be healthy, may you find peace, and may you help bring peace to the